hello everyone today in this video i will explain the installation steps which tools are required to run a laravel project so let's start it the first one is zamp or vamp you can install any it's on you so these are the uh, this server will provide you a local server and my sq my sqli okay so let's move to the zamp i prefer zamp and most of the developer uh, using the zamp server so it's asking me to i'm not a robot i got a robot i'm not a robot so that's why i check this and download zamp apache okay and uh, if you are using uh, macintosh so you can use uh, this one and if you're using linux you can download this one so i'm using uh windows so that's why i'm choosing this one and even you can also download uh, click on more download and you can also download for a 32 bit okay and uh, uh, you can uh, find the latest version from this samp uh, website okay i'm not going to install this because i already installed it okay and uh, after the installation and you click on the exe so this will open a control panel like this okay and uh, these two services are not uh, uh, turned on automatically so you need to merely click on, on these two icons the first one is uh, supporting apache which will provide you a local server and the other one is mysql so if when you turn on this it will enable you to access the mysql okay and after uh, turning them on if the success is there and port is assigned to this so you can test it by uh, typing local host oops i missed him. local host and uh, you can type like php my admin so if this will open open this url and uh, uh, in your case there are three to four items there i have uh, much more databases that's why it's uh, line is huge okay so you can create your database from this uh, by clicking this new button and uh, let me create a new test database okay i'm mentioning this uh, like uh, test db okay i'm not going to uh, implement this stuff but this is for testing okay let's click on the create and it says database has been created successfully and this is our database so just leave it and the other one is the php okay and uh, it's uh, automatically installed by installing the xamp the next step is composer we need to install the composer so let's go to the composer official website okay type composer and go to the com get composer.org and uh, let's click on the and you can uh, getting start with the following uh, reading by documentation but i'm clicking on the download because i want to download the sorry, uh, download the composer so if you want to uh, remember one thing you need to install the composer globally okay this will access you from any command line install the composer and go and automate installation process and uh, actually you need to download this composer bet and it will download uh, download a setup and it's downloaded so i'm not going to install this because uh, i already installed it so uh, th these are the few simple steps you need to just click on the next 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 and uh, the installation is finished so, and after the installation is finished you need to open the cmd okay and check that uh, composer is installed or not okay and you need to type a command php uh, not php it's a composer version okay and this will get the composer version okay it's now the version is 2.01 so you can also check that composer is there or not okay just hit com composer and hit enter button okay and composer is there it's uh, this one okay and you can also check that uh, php version okay let me check that php and uh, hyphen hyphen version so it says 7.45 so you can also use the latest version of php which is 8 
okay and uh, the last step we need to install the node.js for npm npm is a package manager which is used to pull the packages from the github repository so let's type the node.js on the google and it's asking me again that you are a robot and i'm clicking on it no i'm not a robot so let's go to the node.js.org and install this node.js okay so you can uh, install mm, both ones but request this is one is recommended for the user because this is a stable version so you can also download the latest one it's upon you so i'm going to install this one so when you when you click on this it will automatically download the node.js and uh, these are also so simple steps so you need to click on the next next button and after the installation you can also check that uh, node.js is installed or not so let's go to the cmd and type uh, node v so it will get the node version okay and uh, yes you can also check the npm v and hmm, it's takes too much time I, I think i uh enter wrong command i don't know because i already entered the node command oh it's getting the yes i entered the correct entered the correct command its version is 6.41 so let's uh, move to the next step so now we need to uh, install a laravel project so this is our first project so i'm going to cover this in the next video so stay connected for more coming updates thank you bye bye